Hello, okay, so this is my second video blog and I'm doing it from the computer. Um, I don't know how the sound will be, but okay, we'll just check and you never know if you don't try. Yeah. I have a new computer, by the way. Yay. Okay. Let's go to the subject as always. I was thinking about um, answering on the questions I got on this video because it's so much easier and I can explain much more than write. And I will translate the questions to English so you all can understand and I don't need to write on Swedish, English, Finnish and French, I don't know. Yeah, uh, so let's begin. I haven't at all written them uh, or practiced before, so sorry if I will think a bit before I, I answer. English is so bad today. Fuck it. Sorry. Uh, okay, let's begin. My bicep. Okay, now let's begin. Could you write your opinions about healthcare in Finland and about the diet what what you had in the hospital? What do you think about it? Yes, so okay, I was in hospital year 2010, so like six, seven years ago. Yeah, seven years, yeah. I could say I don't remember that much, but it was a hard time for me so I pretty much remember I have talked about it so many times so I can explain okay so my opinions is that it was bad really bad and that's why I have talked about it in the news and interviews uh, radio TV I don't know no not TV okay maybe I'm small part yeah but I have written about it a lot on my blog and diaries stuff like that yeah so the thing is it was so bad it was really really bad um, the food well it was made for uh, other people not not people that had anorexia like me I had was like for diabetics because I was in the same clinic or same room as that had diabetes. I, I got a lot fat free milk, fat free products, everything was fat free and the butter was fat free and I needed fat so yeah I explain it but it was really poor it was it was like a diet but I needed to gain weight so I would have needed a lot more and as I have wrote before when I explained it about the hospital treatment my mom she counted the calories that I had and it was like 1200 maybe so really 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 small amount of food and energy for me and I needed to gain weight and of course I didn't with that uh, diet so that's that's amount of calories so the dinner the lunch was usually like porridge oats or light food those soups then my mom didn't get to bring me some some energy drinks or anything else then I should eat on the meal plan yeah next question what diet would you follow if you want to gain weight uh, would low carb high fat work yeah I, I think I had I followed the low carb high fat diet a few years after the hospital because 
doctor that time she recommended it and it worked really good for me i started eating beef again started eating meat so of course from vegetarian to eating meat and fat again gain it i gained weight and it was really good and uh, at that time i started lifting weights too so i think maybe some muscles come came if you want to gain weight then uh, you can say that any kind of diet or um, meal plan will help everybody you should look at your, what are you what are you eating now and what could you add like if you're not eating enough fat maybe you should add some fat then yeah anything anything you just add uh, add energy to your food anything you like eat it much again 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 and i do meal plans and personal training online so so that's what i help i can say that one thing will help everybody but it's so different from everybody and if you train a lot then it can be harder but at the same time when i started lifting i gained weight fast it can help it also so do you eat candy ice cream chocolate or only healthy products of course i eat yeah i i eat sugar like ice cream chips and some unhealthy food like you call it but it varies really much because like now i eat I try to gain weight so I eat really really much food all the time so I don't have that sugar cravings those those big attacks that I had before it's in front of the movie and stuff like that so yeah I don't I don't have any food or or ingredient any product that I would avoid or I don't follow any diet, I just eat what I like and what I'm craving. I promote Cytec Nutrition and many other high protein products, so so I love to bake about them of them. It's surprising how good it can a good to role taste. model. I have answered that question before and it's uh, on my blog. You can read it here. Do you have pets? Yeah, I have a small dog, but she's old, she's like 13 years old, and she sleeps a lot, love her, and I love dogs. I, I, I'm a dog person, but I've had two cats before. Yeah. Date of birth, 20th November, 95. Where would you like to live? Hmm, well, I don't care that much if, if I'm happy, then then it doesn't matter where I live and most important is to live with those persons you are happy with and of course working with the job that makes you happy some sunny place warm place is always positive but I have no dream place Sweden have always been a near and special place for me but if you ask me last year or I would say uh, USA or like London, but I'm pretty happy with where I live now, Finland. The next competition, mm, the fitness competition, yeah, so I competed in bikini fitness and when will the next competition be? Hmm, I don't know. Mm. Maybe next year, maybe after two years, maybe after ten years, I don't know. Maybe never. You don't know. I will go on the feeling and of course I competed like because I think it's fun and more for the experience. But now I would want to maybe get serious and... Then I want to be ready and really like 
train for it. I mean, practice the posing. Well, I haven't practiced posing at all. And um, the back pose is really hard for me. So yeah, when I decide to compete, I will sure train the practice and build muscles more because I think I'm still too small for bikini fitness even if it shouldn't have that much muscles but this is my opinion yeah what's my goal with my training or what's my goal for comp competition I don't have any goal exactly I just train for because I love it and because it's really important it makes me happy so that's the most important goal and reason but but of course I have dreams and I love competing so just to get further with that we'll get better I don't know I don't need to be better but of course it's fun to be able to lift heavier every time or or to see some progress even because the it's really surprising if you don't focus on that only like go to train because you want to get bigger smaller you want to be able to lift that amount next month so if you don't have those requirements then it's much funner to train then you get real surprised when it's like what the fuck i i could lift this and or whoa what shoulders i got suddenly what's my length and what's my weight last time i was 174 maybe centimeters yeah and my weight i don't gain me anymore have i been in love that's a big question like really in love yeah i think so uh, a few times nothing that much serious and i'm not eating right now so uh, anyway what animal would you be i would be what would i be so my spirit animal is bird because i have so important to be free and i love to travel so maybe it would be a bird but then it would be really tired about the flying all the time and I hate cardio nearly too much too long only cardio so I would want to be something strong maybe a lion a tiger that's a hard question well a free animal that lives in the maybe jungle a monkey yeah best Disney movie I haven't thought about that in a long time either. I loved Ariel, every princess movie, of course. But uh, yeah, I know. Tarzan, that was the best one, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do you eat gluten or milk products? Milk products I love. I love quark, yogurt, cheese, feta. Um, feta is cheese. Like cottage cheese. That's the cheese also. Then I like the soy milk, so I drink it really much. Gluten, well, depends on. Uh, I don't eat wheat sometimes, but I'm I'm sensitive. I'm allergic. I get really bad experience when I eat it, so you don't want to know. I'm really sensitive of everything, products, chemicals, chemicals for the face, not in food. I. I eat them really much but so I'm sensitive and I get those allergic red uh, things on face or arms I don't know why my English is really bad now but